Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Honest by Future. And, and we're going to end up capoing this on second fret, actually, to kind of match the recording. We're going to walk through some stuff and reposition. And it starts out with an intro, actually, of four bars that you could completely ignore. But if you wanted to, you could kind of start off with the intro, like doing open B, and then second fret on the B, and then third fret on the B, and then open G, and then second fret on the G. So we're playing a B. C sharp D open G second fret on the G and the chords that would back that up actually would be a B minor and a G chord and then one really easy way to play a B minor seven is to do first finger on the A string second fret second finger on the G string second fret and third finger on the high E string on the second fret and if you strum just the A string to the high E string that sounds like B minor seven it sounds really really kind of really sad and then from the B minor we're going to go to a G major chord we play G major. First finger plays the second fret on the A string, second fret goes to the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger goes to the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. So you may want to kind of intro the tune that way too, kind of just doing just down on B minor, da da G. Or if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could add in the bass notes from those chords to the lick. So you could do second fret on the A string with the open B. And I'm doing that hybrid picking where I've got the pick for the A string and kind of open B at the same time. And then second fret on the B, third fret on the B, and then third fret on the low E string with the open G. And then you could even go to the second fret on the G string with open A. So you may want to kind of think about opening up the tune that way too. That could be a very cool way of kind of, kind of introing the tune. And then from there, then we go into our main verse chorus that we do for the rest of the song. And we start on an E minor chord, and we play E minor. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret. Second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you show the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. And then from the C major, we go back to E minor. And then we go back to C major. And then we do a, a, a D major chord. We play D major. First finger goes to the G string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the high E string on the second fret. And third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you show them just the E, G, B, and E, that sounds a D major chord. And that's the bulk of our tune, actually, it's kind of that E minor, C major, E minor, C major, D major, E minor, C major, E minor, C major, D major. But that intro lick actually kind of comes back in a different key, and this is kind of cool now. Now instead of starting on a, on a B note, we start on an E note. So you could play 2nd fret on the D, 4th fret on the D, open G, and then go to 3rd on the A, and then we open D. So now you're playing E, F sharp, G, C, D, and another way to play those notes is you could play open E, and then 2nd on the E, 3rd on the E, and then go to 1st fret on the B string, and then 3rd fret on the B string. So you can play an open E, F sharp, G, C, D, and if you wanted to add the bass notes in for those chords, you could do the open E with the open E, 2nd, 3rd, and then play 3rd on the A string for the 1st fret on the B, and then open D for the 3rd fret on the B string. So you may want to kind of think about using that as kind of, kind of another idea to kind of kick off the tune or play through the song, actually, as kind of a lead guitar part. But a lot of times with the song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And there's a couple that would be really cool to kind of work. Well, one of my favorites is down, down, up, up, down, up. And that would be really slow pace in this tune. So you'd have E minor with a down, down, down. our first chorus is on that last C and D they half and so you may want to do kind of a down down up and then a up and then hit the D on the last down so we tried it that way we have E minor with a down down up up down C down down up up down E minor down down up up down C down down up up D down E minor down pattern that 
I think it would be really cool to kind of work through the tune is something called the 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is right now if you're tapping your foot to the beat, we're kind of dividing that into two parts. One, two, one, two, with down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that's called a 16th note. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you do on the first beat. And on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down. Down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So all together you got long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And the weird part about applying that to our verse chorus is on that last C and D you can do the C with a down. Down, down, up, up, down, and then save your last down, down, down for your knee. So we tried it that way. It's teeth notes strum pattern to our verse. The weird part is on that last C and D where you got the down, 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 up, up, down, and then saving that last down, up, down for our D chord. So we tried it that way. We'd have E minor the down, down, down. Instead of starting on on a B minor chord, it's actually starting on a C sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo and put the capo on second fret. And now your B minor is really a C sharp minor. Your G is really an A major chord. Your E minor is really an F sharp minor. Your C is really a D chord, and your D is really an E major chord. But to take it from the very very beginning, you you may want to even kind of intro it off with, with that intro lick that we were talking about. I mean, you could back that up with basses, or you could just kind of ignore that, or you could just strum through it. Do the B minor, da da G, B minor, yep, B minor, da G. So you may want to strum through that too. And then from there, then we'd be going into our verse chorus, and we could do that with just the down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have E minor with the down, down, up, up. that we were talking about for, for that part. C and the D note. Or we can even work that as kind of a two part right now in the bass notes. So that might be kind of a cool thing to play around with too. Or you could do your 16th note pattern and then you have E minor down, 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 on that very first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. You can throw in a bass note for the chords. So on the E minor, you'd have the low B string for your bass. On the C chord, you'd have the A string for your bass. And on the D chord, we'd have the D string for our bass. Randomly, on the B minor, you'd have the A string for bass. And on the G, you'd have the low B string for the bass. But just to try that through our first chorus, you could kind of work it as kind of a bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up. Or you could try adding in basses to the 16th 
15th neck pattern. And a lot of times I'll gravitate to bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or even bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. It would be a very, very cool thing. So we tried that through, through our verse chorus. We'd have E minor, Bobby bass, C with an A bass, bass, down. of how you can strum through Honest by Future. So good luck!